that lay young and up the sum. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no person they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose. Sure, sure now, once you drop Fifi on the block, the numbers is going crazy. I think it's over 1.3 million views, something like that. When you seen these numbers rising as one of your first videos, mm -hmm. what was going through your head around that time? Oh, damn, because that shit was like really off the muscle. Yeah. Like getting a million views in 2013, 2014 crazy. was crazy. Now it's like, it's regular. Like, it's ways to get a million views. You can put a million views on your shit. You couldn't put it, you couldn't get a million views back then. You know what I'm saying? When I got that bitch, I'm like, damn, this bitch, this raw. I felt so good. I felt like I accomplished something. Yeah, that's you huge. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was crazy. I'm like, you know, it was just, it's just different. Like, niggas could get a million views today, bro, off dancing now on a motherfucking Instagram clip. Yeah. And the TikTok, it's different. A million views ain't shit no more. Yeah. To be honest. For sure, for sure. Now, I, I want to ask you this, bro, because it kind of feel like me on the outside looking in that you're underrated still in a sense. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Do you feel like you don't get the credit you deserve? I feel like I don't get the credit I deserve because I'm not pushing the narrative of what Chicago artists do. The main percentage of Chicago artists that do come out, I want to say a good 65%, maybe 75%, they come out, they talk on that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? That's all they talk about. That's all they know how to talk about. And then you got a mixture of the 25% hip hop, pop, rap, whatever you want to call it, melodic, turn up, club, right. whatever. You got all us in this little melting pot together making raw ass shit, but that shit don't shine in Chicago because the narrative here is negativity. The narrative here is the glorified negativity. If you ain't talking about smoking him, if you ain't putting guns in, in beams in the 50s and 30s and 90s and the thousands in your video, motherfuckers don't want to hear that shit. Yeah. If your ass ain't dropping GD, motherfuckers don't want to hear that shit. If you ain't into it with another, another group of niggas that's on, we don't want to hear that shit. If your homie ain't getting killed, they ain't finna click on the post to see that shit. Right. Motherfucking get whacked, everybody gonna click on it. I don't, when nigga, I see niggas get killed now, I don't click on that shit. I don't wanna see that shit. Yeah. That shit goes. Negativity for sure. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you GD, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yes. What, what, I'm trying to ask it correctly, like what keeps you from not making that type of music? I mean, I make it, but I just make it more commercial. Okay. I don't got nobody to diss. Right. The niggas I was into with, I was a kid. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't rapping. Well, I look like talking about them niggas now. Them, we all grown. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no, you know, I ain't got nobody to talk about. Nah, for sure. That's just the truth. I don't have a nigga. I ain't, I've been, I get into it with niggas, but I don't got to talk about them in no song because it don't make sense. I make hits. I do shit. Like, I make music. Mm -hmm. I, I want to be on the radio. And then, soon after that, I want to transition into the acting like Tyrese and Ludacris and everybody else that's made that made music and now they doing movies. Ice Cube, Ice T. I'm trying to do that. I don't give no fuck about killing niggas and talking about that shit on the record. I don't give no fuck about that. Sure, that's real. That's real, bro. That's longevity. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds like you're more of an entertainer and an artist than yeah, a yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? A drill artist. Now, what's your relationship like now with uh, D-Lo and Chemo? I know they did dances, videos to your songs. What's your relationship like that with I them now? I mean, now? they went their own separate ways. They they do their own shit. Um, you know, we just they do their own thing, man. They ain't, you know, they just doing them. I I try to keep it going, bro. But it's just too many personalities in the mix of people. And, sure. Cause I basically I was cuffing them, bro. But you know, you only do so much for people, bro. Right. And after a while, it just gets sour. It gets spoiled, man. You gotta throw it away. That's real. That's real shit, bro. Now, you you did have an incident on the internet where you was on, on live. I don't know if it was Facebook or Instagram. Facebook. But, Facebook. Okay, Facebook you was on Facebook Live and you seen a guy at the CVS. For sure. And a, like a shooting occurred. Yeah. Can you kind of like, if yeah, you I can. can talk, I can talk about it, man. Uh, long story short, man, a motherfucker that, you know, that. Uh, it's in your circle a little bit, not because you know that your homies are the guys and all like that. Basically, a motherfucker don't want to fight me, and and I said we can fight because at the end of the day, I know that I got to see you again. You know what I'm saying? I can't put you in a predicament to not be here, but a motherfucker put themselves in a predicament to be here. A motherfucker told me he was gonna beat me up on live. He want the whole world to see him from the knock the rapper nigga out, all that shit. I say, okay, cool. I'll go live on my page. 
so everybody could see you beat me up. And I went live, and he did the dummy. He knew I was live. He knew it. He knew I was live. Motherfuckers hitting his phone while he, you on live, you stop tweeting, man. Get up out of there. He did the dummy on his own. He cooked himself. He policed himself. I ain't, I ain't even say nothing. You did it. And then you did, and then he did it in the area that was predominantly white. Mm. And that was, and the police didn't get there in 2.6 seconds. Damn, so did, did he go to jail after that situation? Yeah, 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 like that, because that's stupid. Is he still in jail now? Yeah, yeah. For that situation? For that situation. Damn. Damn. Damn, okay. If, Damn. You, if you're doing something with a nigga, you know, and you know I'm on live, and you know I'm on live, why would you incriminate yourself? Right. I ain't incriminating you, you incriminated yourself, because hmm. you did it on live. And everybody seen it, and then once you did it, I took that bitch down right away. But niggas want to be funny in Chicago and repost it, trying to make fun of me, and then that's how that bitch went viral. Yeah. Cause niggas want to try to talk about me. I'm like, I y'all talking about me? I'm trying to fight a nigga that's popping at me, and he ain't even hit me. I'm gonna shot ten times and hit me. So he was shooting at you, or was he shooting in the air? Both. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I felt a couple. Ding ding. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. Now I'm looking at the nigga, that's why if you look at the video, when it happened, I hit the wheel real quick and went to the side. If you can see the sky, you would know if I was driving fast, you would hit a car, grab it. Yeah. I stopped. This bitch ass nigga went all the way around me and took off. So like niggas, niggas thinking I'm you know, like, it's stupid. It's dumb shit, dumb. But dumb see, shit. but see, watching the video though, kind of like you you knew he wasn't trying to kill you, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you didn't get. You ain't get like sped up or none of that. You was still nah, calm. I, I was calm because after a motherfucker was doing what he was doing, I seen motherfucker arm going to the sky. I'm like, oh, man, that nigga tweeted. What the fuck is he on? Right. So I'm looking at him. I was thinking, I, I kind of thought a motherfucker was gonna try to come finish it. In that type of situation, that's stupid. Right. Yeah, motherfuckers went around and, and, and left. Man. What the fuck? This weird ass shooter. That little young man up to he gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose not to fight. We gon' catch